Howdy folks, it's your friend Fishing with Dom and today I'm going to do a little bit of sharing with you about fishing with Santee Cooper rigs for catfish and what I've noticed and how I've improved my skill at fishing with these super unique catfish rigs. If you're not familiar with the Santee Cooper rig, you can fish it from shore, you can drift fish with it, however you want to catch catfish, this rig will do it for you. Now the whole premise behind the Santee Cooper rig is to get your bait off of the bottom. This is an excellent way to fish around vegetation, especially in the summertime when these rivers up here in Michigan get a little loaded up with weeds. So you have your hook of choice and a peg float going down to your sinker contraption. And I'm going to go into a little bit more about the engineering and the physics behind everything here. But let's start with the hook. When it comes to fishing with a Santee Cooper rig, you can get away with using any hook you want. But I prefer to use hybrid style circle hooks. Now, these can be reeled into the fish like a traditional circle hook. Or these hooks can be set like a J hook. This right here is the... Team Catfish double action hook. I really dig it. This this hook really gets a piece of the catfish I've caught so far with it. I have it snelled to a 20 pound monofilament leader. It works really well for the types of channel catfish I'm fishing in and especially around the areas I'm fishing it in. And before I tie the end of the leader to the swivel, I insert a peg float in line with the leader. So if I want to, uh, create more of the distance between the hook and the float, I'm able to do that. Generally speaking, I'll just, you know, put it about three inches or so away. This float is very buoyant. It doesn't matter if you're using just a cheap, you know, 50 cent styrofoam piece like this one, or if you're into the demon dragons that I really want to try out. This, this small two inch float brings your bait up considerably off of the bottom. So keep that in mind when you're fishing. You might want to play with your leaders. This is about an 18 inch leader and for what I was doing with it, it was just getting done. Sometimes you want a longer leader, but that all depends on what you're fishing around. Sometimes you're fishing around boulders, different forms of structure. If you're fishing over vegetation like I do, uh, shorter leader like this gets by. If it's longer, it's no big deal. But generally speaking, I like to keep it about the, the 18 to 24 inch marker or so. And I'll play with the distance between the hook and the float. Uh, but a lot of people wonder if the having the float so close to the hook throws off the catfish. Look, these catfish aren't line shy. They're not hook shy. They're not going to be bobber shy. So if you've got this or even in some instances, I've had the float almost dang near right on top of the hook like that. And, and, the, and the, the catfish will still hit it. This works for blues. This works for channel cats. I don't know if anybody catches flatheads doing this necessarily, but I catch a lot of channel catfish with it. You know, I'll, I'll put the hot dog soaked in Kool-Aid or cut bait on here. And I tell you what, when you're fishing the Santee Cooper rig, it's not just a small tap like a lot of the hits you get when you're catfishing off the bottom. This is a very aggressive and this is a very hard strike. And that's why I like fishing with a hybrid hook because if depending on their activity on how aggressive they're smashing it, I can pick up the rod and just sock it to them. Or if they're just toying with it and pulling out a little bit of line, I can just reel into them. So I've got my leader line. This is just 20 pound Berkeley Trilene big game. Sometimes I use 30. If I was fishing for larger fish, I'd use a 50 and so on and so on. And I've got the swivel going down to it. I make sure I get a nice strong swivel. I believe this one breaks around 75 pounds or so. But what I've noticed personally, and this is the biggest takeaway I hope you get out of this video. When I'm fishing with a Santee Cooper rig, I'm not only using a sinker slide, I'm also using a pyramid sinker. And I've done some thinking about this recently and the physics and engineering behind using a pyramid sinker is that these babies lock themselves into the river bottom. When they cast, they're designed to break into the soil. And if you pull them and work them in a little bit, give the rod tip a nice little, little bump back, it'll just use its shape to dig itself into the mud on the bottom of the river or lake. And you're gonna need that. Not only do you need a large enough sinker to keep your bait 
in one place and on the bottom, you're also going to have a lot more water resistance on your bait because it's not on the bottom where it can hide away from that current. It's up flapping in the current and there's going to be a considerable amount of drag on your bait just because you've got the bait itself blowing off of this hook and you have this bobber to worry about. So when you're fishing with the Santee Cooper rig, there's nothing wrong with going a little bit heavier with your sinker just to keep you locked down in one place, but I like using these pyramid sinkers to really grab the bottom and make sure that this rig stays in one place. But generally speaking, that's all I got for you today. This is a personal preference, but I think a lot of catfish anglers will agree with me when I say this. Because these rigs are rather large and rather cumbersome, I like fishing them on bait casting outfits. This is a medium heavy Berkeley big game rod, you know, the traditional $15 American catfish rod with an Abu Garcia ambassador. It, it, doesn't get any better than this. I've caught a lot of catfish with it. And I feel this way for how low uh, a lot of my catfish bait casters are geared. Uh, they come in a lot more easier. I, I Sometimes you need that cranking power for a low torque gear ratio to bring these bad lads in, especially around uh, different logs and timber and especially in vegetation that I like to fish around in the summertime. So the bait casting outfit, it casts a little bit better in my opinion. When you're reeling it in, it's not as awkward. Uh, as far as the physics of fishing goes, certain reels, like spinning reels and bait casting reels, fish different methods differently. So keep that in mind. I like fishing with bait casters with a Santee Cooper because it's a lot more comfortable compared to a spinning outfit. But the main, main takeaway to get out of this video, you can fish with whatever hook you want. I like using hybrid style hooks. I know Whisker Seeker Tackle makes a fantastic hybrid circle hook that you can reel in or set, but the Pyramid Sinker, that's the big thing I want you to get out of this video to make you a better catfish angler. But if you learned something, please let me know in the comments or if you have any ideas for future videos, I would love to hear about them. But until next time, I'm fishing with Dom and I'm also here to make you a better angler. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.